first of all, I'd like to thank Coach Krzyzewski and uh, the entire Duke Athletic Department for allowing our guys to come down and experience what I feel is the mecca of college basketball against the greatest college basketball coach of all time and uh, the number one team in the country. This is something our guys will remember for the rest of their lives. Uh, certainly not the, uh, the outcome or the, uh, the score differential that we had hoped. I'm proud of the way our guys came in here and competed. Um, you know, certainly it was a daunting task to be able to keep their, their post players and their size away from the rim. And they certainly will their style early in the game and then combined with some very good outside shooting, a team like that becomes very, 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 very difficult to guard when they're clicking on all cylinders like they were tonight. Uh, offensively, I thought we did some good things and we got some looks that um, you know, maybe against some shorter teams or some teams that aren't as long and close the gap so quickly. Uh, once we get into our period, we'll, we'll make some of those shots. But a uh, great experience, you know, the opportunity to come into Cameron Indoor Stadium and play against the number one team in the country is something I know our guys will run forever. They're a good team. I just think they, you know, we played so darn hard tonight. You know, they, they've had a hell of a schedule. You know, they've been at St. Mary's and lost by 15 or 16. And, you know, they were at Louisville about a week and a half ago or two weeks ago and had it down to eight late in the game. So they're, you know, they're, they're a good team. And, but uh, we just, yeah, we played very well. I said, every time you shoot, I think it's going in. And I said, I think that's what you think, too. And he smiled and says, I do, coach. And I said, well, you know, you're, like, he's playing lights out. I mean, you know, the, the numbers that he's putting up, percentage-wise, and three-point shooting is the best in the country. For the last four games, we did a better job on him. But before tonight, he's like 19 for 30. <laughs> and, uh, and that helps those other guys because you have to be on him and that they're good drivers. You know, they can put the ball on the floor. And uh, having a shooter like that out there helps them, helps them immensely, you know. I've watched I've watched a number of their games. I mean, he did that. Yeah, you know, he's not that tall on that, but boy, when he shoots, boom, that sucker goes. That goes in. <laughs> good kid. They had good kids. Really good kids. And it's an up and coming team. I think they'll be good this year because they've they're adjusting and they've played well even without uh, the youngster who's in, injured and. Yeah, but then that kid comes back. They could have their whole team back. And uh, so hopefully good things happen for them because they've, they really have played an ambitious schedule.